My name is Nadia, second name is Anwari. I'm Education Program Officer in CHA Project Management Unit. Uh, and I'm running uh, the educational project uh, which is implementing by uh, coordination of humanitarian assistance, CHA. So this week we uh, were really busy with the Great Idea Project. We had many, many meetings. Um, uh, what is your part with CHA in this project, Great Idea? Uh, since I'm the education program officer and my responsibility is to, to coordinate uh, the issues between the donors and the field level which is implementing this project and uh, uh, broadcasting or uh, receiving their comments to the, uh, to the um, Sabo media organization or uh, as well from Sab SMO to, to the field and uh, listen to, to their comments and, and somehow uh, I have the responsibility of monitoring of this project uh, in the field level in order to become sure that everything is going well, do they have any problem, uh, will they need more support or, or in this process and as well as reporting which is uh, my responsibility to report to the donor uh, based mm -hmm. on the prepared schedule. So what was your takeaway from this week? What was the thing where you said we made really improvement? Yes, uh, really. And uh, in, in the last week, uh, we had two days workshop in Parwan, and we had uh, different parts, uh, different categories of the people, like uh, students, teachers, uh, uh, community leaders, and uh, other other parts of the community. And uh, we met them when we. Um, uh, realized and we received that, that they are really interested to education and uh, they really need to be supported, especially in education process. Then they need really to, um, to be um, part of the activities that, uh, that uh, we are doing through this project. And uh, even though they are suggesting, they are thinking about the other um, schools that uh, that is within their province. They, they, they only do not think about themselves. They, uh, they think about overall the power one province school. And they were suggested that the the, the other schools of the power one should be part of this project and and should be improved. That's not only the idea of these categories of the people, uh, the, the provincial education director in the meeting that we had, they also mentioned this issue that we, we sh should uh, cover all the schools in the district because they want to uh, come an improvement on all over the, the province level. Mm. So, yeah, go ahead please. Yeah, and um, through that workshop we faced with the different students that uh, uh, mostly they, they needs to know about the new techniques, the new technology in the world. They are really interested and want to know about. Teachers were asking for more support regarding their improvement of knowledge and also methodology that they, they cannot use it right now for, for their schools and the, their students. And as well the community needs to be support their schools because they, they really need to um, become high the quality of teaching in their school and, and it will get the community to uh, attend more in their schools when the quality is good. Mm. You wanted to say more? No. <laughs> so what are, uh, what do you see from your point of view as the biggest opportunities with these mobile technologies? Of course, uh, since we have already implemented one another project, uh, which was a live broadcast of programs for the field, but the, since the teachers doesn't have to this uh, helpline system, and um, they cannot uh, ask their questions, which which they had, because if if I listen to a program or I can't ask something and the issues uh, is not clear for me, so it will. Uh, I, it means that I couldn't get the program so good. So, they uh, really this this helpline process will help them to. Uh, this is a good opportunity for them to use this. Uh, mm -hmm. In addition of listening and watching the 
the programs through TV, they, they need to ask their questions and share their idea with the center which is broadcasting this program. And it's mm -hmm. really a good opportunity for them. And as well, um, since we had a, a, a group work among the participants of this workshop, not only uh, this mobile system is working for a learning process, it's also uh, working for uh, problem solving pr process as well. The communities also want to have a direct contact with the school principals, with the teachers, and they know about what's going on in the school and as well as the teachers and the school principals want to know because the most focused point is the students and the, the community and the, uh, the teachers, I mean the responsible people at the school, they should be in, in interaction with each other and, and uh, know what's going on for the students. So what are your main goals within this project, within this pilot program? What would you like to achieve? Uh, mostly uh, through this project, uh, as it's designed, we want to uh, cap build the capacity of uh, teachers and students as well in uh, teaching uh, science uh, uh, subjects for grade 7, 8 and 9 in school. And as well as methodology. They have to use the new methodologies and content knowledge for teaching in the school and this is a good practice for them. So the, the overall objective of this program is this and also we, we want to increase the number of enrollment of students, especially girls in this process to, um, uh, to uh, uh, get the community through uh, contacting meetings with them, through establishing school improvement program and involving in the education program and, and attract their support to enroll more students, especially the girls who are more, um, uh, more, more people, more uh, number of uh, children who are uh, uh, were, uh, who needs to be supported and uh, through their uh, through their families and through their communities and the opportunity become uh, good for them and the environment become pre um, proper for them to come to school and to uh, join to the lessons. Uh, do you see it after this this week? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we don't have to uh, convince the children mm -hmm. that the mobile phones and the tablets are the right way of doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think f there is a fair chance the teacher will jump onto it as well and use it? Uh, of course, it's, it's more, uh, as we saw in the, in the um, workshop, both youngs and uh, holders uh, were very interested to use the new technology, but, but has uh, all of, uh, in all of the world it's something uh, usual that mostly the youngest the generation needs to use the technology, the new technology. Mm, but also it will support the teachers as well. And the uh, mobile phone uh, by uh, creating a um, helpline process, yeah. this will support the teachers to uh, build their capacity and be skillful teachers. And also the, the students. The students uh, were mostly interested to work on the games which uh, has uh, educational um, with, with most of them were educational games and they can improve and their creativity will be in, uh, more motivated uh. yeah what are the challenges you see you're facing within this project mm -hmm. uh, since we had the uh, experience of broadcasting this program through telecast and a live uh, program there is not uh, another uh, challenge that we should mm, talk about, but only the only challenge win will be the scheduling of these uh, programs and coordination of it with the um, PD provincial education director and went within the district education directors and school principals that would uh, could come come up with a good result in this regard. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Welcome.